So this is going to be my November favorites. I seriously can't even believe that it's already December. Like that's so weird. But I'm so excited because that means that it's Christmas time. And just take a look outside, okay? Can you even see outside? Yep, it's snowing. My favorite. I just love the snow because, well... I don't love it, but I love snowboarding and going snowmobiling. It's so much fun and it's so pretty. Like, there's nothing like snow, you know? Like, I hate rain. I'd rather see it snow any any day than see um, rain. It's rain. What can you do with rain? Nothing. That's why I like snow. Anyways, this video is not about that. Well, I guess you could say that my favorite is snow, even though it just started. But anyways... I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I've been loving lately. Now I will say a lot of these products I started using towards the end of November because that's when I got them, but it doesn't matter, they were still my favorites. So I will get started um, and I will just talk about them briefly. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I've been loving, I know that I said I think I mentioned this in my last video saying that I didn't really love it, but it's the Rimmel Lash Accelerator, and I do like this. I haven't, I honestly haven't noticed a difference in the length or anything, but it's a pretty good mascara. I don't know if you can really tell, but I, I do like it, and um, it's a really great day-to-day -day mascara, and just to kind of like dramatize, dramatize, it's probably not even a word, but that's okay. Um, to thicken it up a little bit, if I want them to be thicker, I will add the Rimmel Max Bold Curves. So, these two together make, like, the perfect mascara. I just wish that they were together. So, those are two mascaras that I've been loving. Next is this Maybelline Define a Line in Ebony Black. I used Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner for the longest time. I've been using this literally since I was 14 years old, or maybe 15 years old, I would say. And I love this. And then my mom, she accidentally bought this. She didn't like how black it was, so I was like, okay, I'll try it. And it is so black and creamy. Like I don't know if it's gonna show up any blacker than the Color Stay, but we'll see. Yeah, like, it shows up, it makes the Revlon Color Stay not look as black. So, the top line is the Maybelline Define Line, and the bottom is the Revlon Color Stay. And this one is so creamy. Like, this is um, kind of those ones that you need to warm up a little bit on your hand or something. This one is just so creamy, so black, and it lasts a long time. So, I might have to retire the old Revlon Color Stay. Um... And I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a really black, creamy um, eyeliner um, for the waterline. I use it on the waterline mainly. Sometimes they'll line my upper lash line or something. But, yes. I'll show you again. The top is the Define Line Maybelline and the bottom is the Revlon Color Stay. So, that's that. They almost like don't even look the same color to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way that it's filming. But, that's that. The next thing that I have been loving are these two palettes. They are the Wet n Wild Color Icon palettes and they are just amazing. I did a tutorial um, that used both of these at the same time. Right now I am wearing the Vanity palette. If you can see, it's just really pretty gold and you can get this so cheap. Like These two palettes I could probably live off for the rest of my life. Like They're just the perfect colors. Like, you need to get these. Like, they would make the best little stocking stuffers. I'm going to ask Santa to get me the holiday ones because I've heard nothing but good things about them. So, try these out. They're amazing. The greed is a nice if you want to smoke it out a little bit more. And then this is just, like, the perfect neutral palette. It has matte. They both have matte and shimmer shades. So, you can do so many looks with them. And I would... I will be mad like if you guys don't get this I will be like her like go get these else I will be a sad girl okay next are some elf things the first is the elf complete coverage concealer palette looks like this I'll open it for you it has a little mirror comes with a little brush I don't use the brush 
I mainly just use my fingers. And it comes with four shades. This is in medium. And it is, they are the perfect shades for me. So if you're not as dark as me, you might want to go with a light shade. But th this color, these two colors are perfect for like covering blemishes like I have one on my chin. I don't know if you can really tell because I covered it. But these are perfect for that and then these two are perfect for under the eye. So it's just amazing to just have it all in one palette and not to have to... Is it thundering and snowing out? I don't know. Anyways, but it's just nice to have all these colors in one convenient little palette. And they are so creamy. Let me just um, swatch one of them for you. Well, you can't really tell. But they're so creamy. And they blend so easily into your skin. They don't look cakey. I have under my eyes right now. Um, I don't have a problem with dark circles. So... Um, I more have kind of like bags under my eyes, so I don't really know if it's really great for that, but I would definitely try it. It's three bucks. Like, what can you lose? Like, you know what I mean? So, I love that. The next thing I love is the e.l.f. Blush and Bronzing Powder. Now, this is great for every day. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen this, and it's compared to the Orgasm Laguna thing. This color is nothing like orgasm. If you want orgasm, this is nothing like it at all. If you want a good orgasm dupe, it is Mark. If you, I sell Mark um, Cosmetics, so my link is on my channel page. Um, the dupe for it is Afterglow by Mark. They're blush identical to orgasm, and it's like eight bucks, as opposed to like twenty-five or whatever it is. This is a pretty color. I will swatch it for you. Um, for me, it's just a little bit too light for my skin tone. Um, if you can see, you won't, I don't know if you'll even be able to see it. It's right here, but it just comes off more like a sheer, um, just gives me a sheen with a little bit of gold glitter, which is pretty, but it just doesn't give me a lot of color. I am wearing it right now, but I don't know if you can tell. And yes, I always look into the mirror behind. I don't know, I need to try to look in at the camera. It's so hard so hard okay and then the bronzer I really do like the bronzer because it's not orangey at all and it's nice to have a little bit of a contour but again um, my skin is kind of on the darker side so it doesn't really show up as well so you probably can't even tell that it's on there but on my finger it looks like that but when you put it on it's not as intense but I do like I have it on right now it's just nice to just warm up your skin tone a little bit. So I do recommend that. And the next two things are lipsticks. One of which I'm wearing. I'm wearing like all of these things right now. But that's okay. Um, the first is Rimmel's Airy Fairy. And I know I'm so behind on getting this. But I um, love this lipstick. I um, wore it all weekend for my pageant. And no I did not win the pageant. And don't. Ask me any questions because I'm going to have a video all about that. So um, save your questions for that video, okay? But no, I did not win. So that's that. Um, so it looks like this. It's just the perfect mauve color. I don't know. It's just so nice. And I'm obsessed with the smell. Like, I don't like how MAC lipsticks smell. I think I said that before. But I love how these smell. It's just kind of like a sweet kind of fruity scent almost. So it's really pretty. And Airy Fairy 070. So I know on some people it looks um, more purpley, but this is how it looks on me. And I really, really like it. So that's that. And the last makeup product that I would have to say is this e.l.f. lipstick in Runway Pink. It is the perfect baby pink. Um, so nice, so creamy. Let me just swatch it for you. Like, it is the perfect baby pink. Like, is it washing it out? I can't even, like, see what I'm doing here. I don't know. It's just the perfect baby pink. Um, there's no shimmer in it. It's creamy. On my skin tone, it's kind of like a nudie pink. Like, a really light baby nudish pink. But I love it. Um, I think this will look great on a lot of skin tones. It is a little similar to Angel. A little bit. I wouldn't say it's the same. 
Um, but it's really, really nice. And I would totally recommend this to you guys. And where the... Oh, okay. And my last favorite is a candle from Wax Drop. I have a video on my other Wax Drop candles. Um, this one is in Christmas time. And they look like this again. And it just smells so good. Like, I don't know why it smells like Christmas. But it does. It just smells so good. I don't know. It just smells kind of like a mix of like cinnamon and like pine trees or something. I don't know. It just smells awesome. So it's in Christmas time. And once again, they're um, sustainable and reusable tins. And they're just great. And they're five bucks. So I will put the link on where you can get these in the bottom bar. But other than that, those are all my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you are having a great December.